More bad news for Jonathan Majors today, as he has now been formally charged with assault and harassment by a New York district attorney. Of course, we all know that on Saturday he was arrested for alleged domestic dispute, uh, domestic abuse, that is, against his girlfriend, who has since recanted her allegations but they do feel that they have enough evidence to go forward with this, and they have formally charged him. Documents obtained by Fox News. I know this is Fox News, but hey. Uh, he was charged with two counts of assault in the third degree, aggravated harassment in the second degree, attempted assault in the third degree, and harassment in the second degree. I, I, I don't understand what the degrees mean. I know first degree is premeditated, second degree I is whatever. But I, I don't know if these are felonies or misdemeanors. I have no idea. But obviously they think that they do have sufficient evidence to move forward. He still is proclaiming his innocence. He says that there is video evidence and witness testimony that will exonerate him. However, now his girlfriend, even though she's recanted her testimony, did have marks on her body. She had bruises along her side. She had a laceration behind her ear, uh, which was consistent with a smack. It's possible that she did it to herself. Some people will stoop that low and do things like that in order to make headlines in order to get back at people. But, uh, the district attorney's complaint stated that the defendant put his hands on her neck, causing bruising and substantial pain. So if they feel that they have enough evidence to move forward, then it's possible that this did happen, uh, in the way that, that it was said, and, and often in cases of domestic abuse, you will see that the, the, uh, the abused party will recant their statements once all the, the smoke is cleared and say, Oh yeah, I love him. You know, I don't want to see him in trouble. Plus, you know, he is, he's a rich guy and he's being tapped right now for some major roles. And this could seriously uh, affect his uh, career going forward. Uh, in addition, the report stated uh, the defendant strike about her face with an open hand caused substantial pain and a laceration behind her ear. The defendant also grabbed her hand, causing swelling, bruising, and substantial pain to her finger. A judge granted a limited order of protection against the actor and majors is expected in court on May 8th. So apparently the judge also uh, granted uh, a protection order or a restraining order against Jonathan Majors, which means that he can't be in the vicinity of his girlfriend or whoever this woman is that he allegedly assaulted. We still haven't heard anything from Marvel. So Marvel's being pretty tight lipped on this. Uh, but if they're charging him, I don't see them charging him without the sufficient uh, evidence to, to, to move forward. Uh, even if the district attorney is like, Hey, this is a famous guy and this maybe will get my name in the papers. It, if they charge him and then they don't have any evidence, it could seriously hurt the district attorney's career. So I just don't see them charging Jonathan majors with this crime without them being confident that they can convict him on it or at least get some type of conviction. Now there have been others that have come out in the media and said that, yes, he is an abusive person. People have thrown around the word sociopath. Uh, this is coming from people that have worked with him, people that went to school with him. They could be just trying to get their names in the paper. You never know when it comes to a celebrity, you know, people will come out of the woodwork and say, hey, he did this to me. Hey, he did that to me. Hey, he did that to me. And they're just trying to get their 15 minutes of fame. So I'm not 
going to sit here and say that he is absolutely 100% guilty of what they're saying he's done. But I, I, I do see that things may be uh, not so much in his favor because of the charges now that have been filed against him. And uh, hopefully we'll hear more from uh, Marvel in the coming days because They've they've put all their cards on his table. I mean, he's the big baddie. He's the only big baddie moving forward right now. He's Kang the Conqueror. The many iterations of Kang, they've already used him in Quantumania. They've already used him in Loki. Kang has hundreds of millions of other iterations of himself in the multiverse. So we're just going to have to see uh, what happens moving forward. Hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I will talk to you next time.